Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 11 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to finalize the trim outside. And as you can see, everything looks consistent and looks nice. Now we're gonna continue working on this. Uh, last thing that we did is we added our um, backyard and we're gonna work on this again um, what I'm planning to do is to connect this instead of uh, ground maybe I could put it to level one sorry actually put it to ground and then we could add all of our uh, probably stairs so that this one will be um, connected right here uh, what we can also do instead of here we could add the stairs here around here so we could actually put it on level one and just add the stairs around here uh, what I'm planning to do is to just copy the same um, material so here we could go add a ground um, we could edit this as well CS here um, what we can do is we could go around right here something like that and then we're gonna edit the ones right here so we have our stairs and we have our gap right here um, let's make this one accurate to the side right there I think that's good enough and then let's edit this one so that e everything is aligned properly and maybe we could just do it much better um, distancing and offset so here we have 432 474 and 475 so I think that's good enough So now it looks like this it goes down um, here what I'm planning to do is because we have it needs to go down further I'm gonna select all the exterior and then change it to base constraint to ground so that it goes all the way down we need to edit the boundary so that it goes from the inside so that it's not showing so that it looks much better you might edit um, those ones later on because we're gonna put this one in a hill so we're going to, we might change that so here I have all of this already as you can see we have the ground level and then everything is connected properly like this um, this one although we have this on level one we have a gap here that we could utilize another stairs So if we check this again, so we could edit the boundary, make this one 800. The reason I'm doing this because we have a gap there that we need to add another layer. So at least it's a proper distancing. CS we're going to put it like that in between that so we put 400 move this one there and then here as well and then let's just 
put this one 200 above face offset and let's see how it looks that looks good and all the steps are properly given and then we could add our flooring right here I'm not gonna uh, I'm not sure but I'm not planning on adding um, a gate or a boundary wall and then here we could just move this one all the way up I'm going to add another floor edit and then duplicate this will be floor number four and change this one to one of those um, concrete material that we have 200 as well and then now we could just go around here of course we're going to add some grass and I'm going to extend this one on this side so we're going to see something um, I'm going to set this parameter right here, 1500. Delete this. TR, trim and extend, and then trim and extend right here. So now we have something that looks like this. I'm going to connect this one to a topo, topo surface that is inclined. And we still have something that looks like this. And then obviously we have another floor here um, I'm thinking of adding a floor that is going down here so now as you can see this one looks nice and we put the ground to zero and then that's how it looks I'm going to put another floor here so floor edit duplicate floor number five change the material concrete we could use this one for now it just needs to be a concrete material and then here we could have something that looks like this and I think this one needs to be all the way out like so and then maybe we could extend this one yeah let's just extend this one so that that's our boundary and we could just put this one at 6500 all the way or let's do 12,000 all the way down so this one needs to be zero again and then we could edit so you go to ground again you could edit or modify the sub element here we could change the uh, elevation to negative maybe for now, negative 800. Negative 800. And then that's will be looking like that. So just like I said here, we could manually extend some of this, like so. And then we're gonna connect some stairs here. Um, I'm planning to do a stairs like this. So connected right here going down and then this will be something that is down to up like that so it's still going that way and then here probably going down or flat going up so we're gonna uh, connect that topo surface uh, later on and then like I said 
um, we might extend some of this so here we already extended and then we're gonna add a stairs manually uh, by using uh, like a model in place so that we can manipulate it a lot better and now I'm just checking here so okay so that's good right there it's not showing this one is doesn't have a trim but that's fine uh, something to do with the error it's not letting us do it but that's fine so our trim is still good I'm not gonna extend it all the way right here because that's good enough on this side and we could just look at it like this and then here we could delete this part right here maybe up to here I could edit the path and then just delete this so we only have something right here on this side but that's something that we don't need to worry about anymore that's looking good um, what we can do also is remove the riser so here edit I believe it's right here under on this um, no riser so un uncheck that and then it will have this open that is looking really good um, and as you can see it looks really nice on there so something to do with that um, we might not use this wall right here because that wall is maybe we could just put this wall down a bit like this and then we have something that looks like that so it's a lot lot better looking so this is something that you could do later on um, we sh usually we don't focus on the interior part that much but we could start right here so that you could do your walk walk through so at least we have something that is um, easily ready already so so that's good right there um, still thinking of the incline that we created here negative 800 I think that's good enough um, we might uh, do a more substantial uh, decline right here so we might do that once we're um, adding all those um, topo surface that we're gonna add um, in the next video so now what I want to do is just add something like this for now um, I'm planning on changing the material for this so what we need to do is just not to click it but you need to click on tab just to select the panel because it's um, we need to do that in order for this type to change so here we have place we need to duplicate this to glaze 2 and then change the material so here I'm gonna choose glass clear gray and then now if we do the same thing right here so now let's do the same thing right here um, but instead let's just choose glaze 2 and then that will change that one instantly we don't need to worry about that so here here if you sele just select it as you can see you don't have that um, options so you just need to click on tab first and then you will be able to select that glaze by itself and then just choose the proper type and that's looking good if we just do realistic I just want to see how everything looks so as you can see we have something that looks like that and then here um, let's extend this one 
So I'm gonna go to ground. Um, let's edit the boundary and then go to ground. And I'm just gonna extend this on this side so that it's easier for us to connect it. So here, TR, trim and extend, and then delete this, T, TR again for this part, or just delete this. So now we have something that looks like that, and then we could just connect everything else. So even though we have that one there, um, it will be all connected. Um, we have this one right here also on level one um, we could delete this wall now so I'm just going to put that one or delete this door TR term and extend like I said earlier you can exchange this because um, we cancel out the exterior door right here so you can uh, exchange this so that you can still have the access to uh, to um, the closet right here and you can even extend this one so that the pantry area is bigger um, you can do that definitely so it's about uh, your taste now or your option if you want to do that so that's something that I wanted to point out what I did and then check everything else this one looks good everything is um, I'm thinking now what material should we put here um, all the walls will be white except for this two and then this one we we could put gray or something different so something to think about um, when we're in twin motion already so with that um, we have this one on level one let's go to level one again and then we could start adding the um, stairs going right here um, and with that we need model in place and then generic model and then here we're going to create an extrusion and we need 200 extrusion maybe negative 200 because it's going down um, in terms of materials uh, of course we need to add a concrete something concrete because we could just edit that later on and then here we could set up so here let's go and keep on checking it so that's good right there 200 thickness and then negative 400 again to go down and then we are just gonna keep on doing that until we re reach something right here and then those gaps here we're going to form um, we're gonna form it at um, topo surface so let's go and add it again so here it's not visible you just need to go to your view range and then change this to unlimited so that you see everything let's edit this and then create another extrusion this will be negative 400 apply and then here we could create something like this again but extend it a little bit I want to see the distance so maybe 350 and then here 350 as well And I want to see it on 3D again. Here, we're going to change it for sure. Extrusion start, negative 200. So it's lower here. 
I'm planning to add so a strip here as well of a void strip similar to this one so that uh, we can put in some light there so that it will illuminate so something that we could do as well so go back to level one and then create another extrusion this time it's starting negative 400 and going to negative 600 make sure it's 400 uh, 350 Then here as well, 350. And then little by little, we we're gonna touch this, and then we can see a much better look. select this again go to level 2 create another extrusion change this one to 8 and then this one to 6 and we're just going to keep on doing that and as you can see we're doing a nice progress I may add something right here like a strip of uh, grass that we could add so that we could still use this part right here so uh, I'm gonna probably add a grass part right here that is inclined so that's later on because I don't want it to be looking like this is um, going all the way to the parking or the carport area so I think one more, one or two more, and then we're good. I'll probably uh, do uh, two more, so that so that we could do everything already. Let's just add this one and be consistent with the spacing. Or the um, offset and then create another one just keep on increasing increments of 200 so even though this one is not showing anymore that part that's fine that's how we're gonna blend it So now if we check this one it's already up to here but we added this just for um, showing it um, we're going to add grass part right here <coughs> and then here it's just having that that's good enough so click on finish so we're gonna stop here for now and continue in the next video thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below